In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm going to continue on my process for seeking out more performance. If you've been following the, the channel, you know that I'm, I'm looking for simple bolt-on ways to increase the power of my DB9. I have a 2005 coupe. Um, it's not like the power sucked in the first place. The V12 engine that's in this uh, car makes about 450 horsepower, but uh, over the years they developed the engine and it seems like it's pretty reasonable to get to the point of same power of a DBS. Um, and a DBS makes about 500 horsepower, so I'm looking for ways to maybe come up with an extra 50 horsepower. Um, so I'm trying three different things. I'm uh, going to put in an airbox delete kit with a high flow air filter. Um, you can already check that video out up here. I'm going to uh, do the ECU chip upgrade, so I'm going to reprogram the computers that control the engine. And in this video, I'm actually going to be covering uh, a secondary cat delete kit install. So I'm actually going to take out the secondary catalytic converters and install a delete kit pipe, which is just a straight pipe. And um, that's supposedly going to do three things for me. It's going to uh, increase the horsepower because removing the uh, secondary cat is going to reduce back pressure in the system, let the exhaust system flow freer, which should produce some more power. I'm going to verify that though. Um, in a future video, you're going to see me take this to the um, dyno test again, and I'm going to actually check and see if this added any more horsepower, and I'm going to be able to tell you exactly how much. Um, putting in a secondary cat leak kit's also going to reduce the weight. We're going to take out these big, bulky catalytic converters and put in these nice stainless steel thin pipes. Uh, so we should get some weight gain, and of course, weight gain is also converts to power gain. And a third thing that we're going to do is we're going to, I've been told it's going to make the exhaust sound a little more aggressive. We're kind of getting rid of a baffle in the exhaust system, so we might get a little bit more throaty roar. And in another video, you're actually going to see me um, uh, do some high quality recordings of before and after. So you'll be able to check that out at the end of this as well. So looking for a lot, but you're probably sitting there going, hmm, it's taking out the secondary catalytic converters. Uh, isn't that bad for the environment? Well, maybe. Um, the DB9 V12 has got six catalytic converters in it right now. There are two primaries on each side of the engine. Two right at the header on the left, two right at the header on the right. So that's already four cats. These catalytic converters are secondary and they're really just for polishing the exhaust gases. There are no O2 sensors here. The engine control system is doing nothing based on the results of this. All the O2 sensors are up front. So um, we're not even going to be able to, we're not going to mess up the car's electronics at all either. Um, essentially, these come out, straight pipes go in, and that should be the end of it. But I am interested to know, um, will my car still produce as good an exhaust gas? And I live in California, one of the most stringent um, environmental rule locations in the whole country, uh, certainly in the United States, probably on most of the world. So I'm going to go take my car for a smog test after I've fitted the secondary cat delete kit and see if it still passes California smog. So that should be, a, if it does, then I'll be happy. Um, if it doesn't, well, I'll probably put the secondary cats back in because I'll have to pass a smog test every year. So. So why do you think Aston Martin fitted these secondary cats in the first place? Well, I've been scratching my head wondering a bit, um, well, obviously to clean the exhaust gases, but I'm wondering if it was for a particular market somewhere else in the world that requires them, or um, more likely, my guess is that when you cold start the engine, all the catalytic converters aren't up to temperature yet. And so what they did was they basically, okay, a little bit of the gases are starting to slip through the primaries, so they thought they would catch them uh, during the cold starts with the secondaries. Um, that may or may not be true, I am just guessing, uh, but uh, honestly, we're gonna find out with the smog test anyways. So you'll need to do a little preparation uh, to get ready to swap the kits out. Obviously, you need to get the car up off the ground. You can easily do this project uh, on jack stands on the floor, um, and uh, I'm doing it here on a lift in the shop so we can video it a lot better. 
Um, the other thing you need to do is remove the shear panel uh, that would be covering this area. Check out my other video for how to remove the shear panel properly because uh, you won't be able to get to the bolts unless you take that shear panel out. Um, so let's get on with uh, taking these suckers out and getting the cat delete pipes in. You need just a few tools to um, install a secondary cat delete kit. A 3 8 ratchet, a 6 inch extension, a 13 millimeter combo wrench, a T30 Torx bit, um, a universal, 3 8 universal joint, it's going to be important. You need a 13 millimeter deep socket. I'm uh, going to need a deep one, so have one of those on hand. You need a long ass extension. Uh, you can snap a whole bunch of short ones together. I happen to have this two footer, uh, which will be handy and you'll see why in a bit. You'll need a torque wrench when we're putting the, um, the bolts back in. Um, you're going to see me wuss out and use an electric impact uh, wrench a little bit. And uh, an inspection light's always handy uh, when you're working underneath the car. All right, well, let's get started taking these out. Um, so the first thing, oh, basically we have to get these uh, six uh, header bolts loose. And to make a little bit more space to get wrenches on the backs, I'm actually going to take out um, just a couple of these rear under tray bolts uh, to make life a little easier. And uh, those are the T30. And you'll see that that gives me more clearance where I can actually get my arm up in there to uh, hold a wrench. So let's do the same on the other side. Same deal. I can get my arm up in there now to hold a wrench. So um, now I'm going to switch over to my 13 millimeter deep socket here. I'll throw a little extra light up here. And I'm just going to crack them loose. And maybe from where my head is, might be a good shot. And as soon as I get them turning, the the bolt starts turning with it, but at least I've started it now. Boy, that one's tight. And now that top one, not too bad. But you'll also see me go at the top one. I'm going to switch to the universal joint and my long ass extension because then what I can do is come in on a much more direct angle and I can be out here way at the end of it getting more torque on it. Uh, I can barely get the ratchet to turn in that space. Uh, so I'm going to also switch to the impact driver now that I have them cracked loose. Now let's see if we can get the first bolt all the way out here. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully they all go like that. One down. So now I'm going to go and see if I can get on there. Right, so now get my arm in here. having the impact for that. Bolt out. All right, so now the upper, put the universal joint on. Get my wrench in place first.
There we go. Now remember there's a gasket. Let's we'll see what condition it's in. Oh, like factory new. Okay, so you might be able to reuse your gasket so they look that good. <laughs> I'm going to put this bolt in backwards just to hold it up while I work on the other end here. So, not much to this. Just going to back off this clamp. There's a washer on there, just don't lose that. And this is a spring clamp. There we go. Now I'm going to put this nut back on there so I don't lose it while I'm taking this out. So I've heard this is a bit tricky. trick is push the back box on the back because it's on its rubber hangers and there you have it first one's out and uh, let's have a little look at it with the inspection light if we look right down the center pipe there you might, should see the honeycomb that's the catalytic converter what you're looking for when you inspect that is anything broken away it should look like a completely even uh, honeycomb like this one does you can check out the, the tailpipe side of it, but it should also look the same. And I was talking about the flange to see if I would need any um, tailpipe sealer. So uh, if this was pitted at all, uh, you might consider using a little sealant, but mine's smooth as a baby's butt. Um, so I have a feeling I'll be able to just put my brand new cat delete pipe in there and it will seal up completely well with the, uh, the clamp system. So looking good. Now if you have a little corrosion because you're in a climate with corrosion, no big deal. Use a little bit of sealant on this surface in there. And well, while we're in here, we have a pretty good view of the header. <laughs> and uh, you can see it's all scalloped where all the pipes are coming together. Um, it's a pretty fine piece of kit that they put together here. So pretty nifty so um, we can go fast forward as I get the other side out You have a look at this gasket terrific shape as well so yeah um, you can probably reuse your gaskets unless you discover they're not in good shape the bolts themselves there's a bit of galling on the threads you could reuse these but you can see that highly glossed area in there maybe and uh, uh, it's a sign of wear so a new set of bolts might be a good idea, but as long as they torque up, they're fine. Um, so now let's get the... Uh, Do you want to put one in backwards? Yeah. Good advice from the cameraman. Don't brain myself. Put one in backwards to keep it up. There we have it. Give a little inspection. 
Yeah, looking good down the inlet side. Looking good down the outlet side. <clears throat> All right. So we've got these babies out. Uh, that's the hard part, if you ask me. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, um, start fitting up the new pipes. <laughs> 